So I get an email from the agent. We're sorry to inform you, Lee, that you did not get the deal. What? Are you $145,000 over asking price? I didn't get the deal? So I called the realtor. We are looking specifically for off-market deals. Now, if you guys leave this CEO Fireside chat and you contact a realtor in those markets and you say, hey, can you set me up with an auto hot sheet and start pushing me inventory in these areas? That's not gonna get it done, okay? That inventory is so picked over, it's insane. The minute that thing gets listed, out of control. Now, to give you guys an example of just how out of control this is, last week, a duplex goes up for sale in my market, Spokane Valley, Washington, list price 305,000. Now, it caught my attention because there's no duplexes for sale in Spokane Valley for under 400 because Amazon just announced another 1.3 million square foot facility. Uh, they're hiring a thousand more people, jobs in that neighborhood. So a 305 duplex, out of control. So I go look at the duplex and I'm like, okay, uh, I will pay you $305,000 in cash. And then I did an escalation addendum. So I said, not only will I pay you the asking price of 305, but I'm gonna escalate to $450,000, 145 grand above asking price. So I get an email from the agent. We're sorry to inform you, Lee, that you did not get the deal. What? Are you $145,000 over asking price? I didn't get the deal? So I called the realtor and I said, hey, this is Lee Arnold. I said, um, maybe you can help me out because I thought that I had written a pretty aggressive offer, <coughs> but I still didn't get the deal. So what do I need to do differently to make sure I get the deal next time? He said, Lee, within 36 hours of that listing going live, I had 37 offers and yours was not the highest yours was not the fastest and yours did not have the least amount of hair which means somebody wrote an offer over 450 with no contingencies no inspection cash close in five days okay so this is what you're competing with now even in my own market you guys if you take the advice i just gave you and you go from spokane and you go 150 miles north 150 miles south and 150 miles east and west you're gonna come into some pockets where there's tremendous opportunity. There's a market about 80 miles north of Spokane Corridor called I Own. You, I got no jokes. There's nothing in I Own to joke about. There's like nine houses. I bought one of them. I owned one eighth of the town. <laughs> That's funny. No, what? No. Jeez Louise, I gotta get a drum kit in here. That's funny. I should have been the mayor. I own one, one ninth of the house. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I appreciate the courtesy laugh. Bought it for $26,000. Did very little to it, cleaned it up, sold it for 65 from a lady who wanted to get out of the rat race of Spokane and get into an area where the air was cleaner and she could breathe freer. Okay. So direct to seller, it's how you win. <laughs>